Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can indicate that a button is pressed. So I have my photo editor up, and right now when I press the color button, it's going to change the color, which is great, but I can't tell whether or not I have actually clicked the button other than looking at this screen. So one way you can indicate it um, is you can make it so that people can actually hear when you click on it. So now when I press the color uh, button, it's going to broadcast the message and it's going to play the sound pop. So now you can actually hear it. So this is great for people who might be uh, hard of um, sight, who are unable to see if a button is pressed down and they can click on something and go, oh, I actually hear this. So something has happened. Now, another thing that you can do, um, maybe if somebody can't hear or is unable to hear, you can uh, make it so that it visually it looks like the button has been pressed down and then pressed back up. So to do that, I'm going to add in a repeat and I'm going to simply change the size of this button. So I'm gonna say change the size by like minus one. And I'm gonna do this, uh, let's do it five times. And then, so this will make it get smaller like this, boop, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna repeat this and I'm going to make it get bigger. So it goes back up like that. So when I combine this code together, it's going to, when clicked, uh, change the color, make the pop sound, so that way we can hear that we press the button. It's going to move the button so it gets smaller, and then it's going to make it look like the button is getting bigger by changing the size. So let me show you in the big screen so you can see it. Okay, so that's working exactly the way I want. However, there is a bug. If I were to click this a bunch of times, our button has shrunk. So now it's a very tiny button. I don't want it to do that. So the reason why is because when I click it and it's going through this code and then I click it again, it's already changed the size so it's smaller, but it resets and starts doing this code again when I click it a second time and then again and again, and it never actually gets to this part where it goes back to the original size. So we can fix this by saying to set the size to something like 75% or maybe 100%. So when you click on the button, it always starts at the correct starting size. And if you press it a bunch, it's always going to reset back to that size. So add stuff like this to make your program more accessible, to make it so that people can hear if you've um, interacted with something or visualize C when you have interacted with something. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.